So now you can see that we can see the positions lining as this, but we cannot see their boundary. So first of all, I'm going to create some sort of boundary to this thing here. So in the position here, I'm going to create a position, position script and let's say it is a new script and I'm going to create double click on it to open it and reload all and uh, in this first of all I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a void on draw gizmos so for those who don't know about this thing is there it the gizmos basically this you can see that this tab here gizmos in the unity and whenever you click on it you can see different kind of things and the in the gizmos the gizmos is basically responsible for the wheels uh, graphic of this unity here everything in gizmos is uh, if like if you can if you click on this show grid here you can see the grids are gone if you click on the 3d icon 3d icons gone if you click back them on you can see the grids are on so basically gizmos is responsible for the wheel things wheel representation so let's head back so what we need to do is that we need to create some sort of a rectangular sphere to this position here so that we can detect which position we are dealing with so i'm going to say that gizmos dot draw wire cube and the for the wire cube we need two things we need a position and for that we i'm going to say that transform dot position because we are going for the same position and we need a vector 3 so for that i am going to create a new vector 3 and in that vector we need some kind of height and width so for that i'm going to create it as a public because we can change that in the unity as well integer width type or we should create that into some sort of float width and this should be equal to something like 10f or 10f should be let's say that 10f and we can change it up in the unity for the height i think uh, 5 should be good public float h e i g h t height uh, is equal to 5f and I'm going to call width and height here. So for that, uh, for the x-axis, I'm going to use the width. For the y-axis, I'm going to use the height. And for the z-axis, I'm going to place the zero. So I think all of the things here are done. And let me go back into the Unity and check what are the results. And you can see that we got ourselves a nice big uh, gizmos so for that uh, I have uh, I think pasted this script only one so what I'm going to do is that I am going to simply paste that script over here and that should change all of the things and uh, I think uh, for the yeah so I have sorry I have pasted in the wrong thing here so I'm going to remove that component and I'm, I think I'm going to paste that script on every position now you can see that we got it but the gizmos is very uh, big here so we need to change some sort of width we are going to two good yeah two is fine in the position and the other one i'm going to change the width to two here as well and on the third one i'm going to change the width to two now you can see that we got a nice big uh, wire cubes here but you can see that from here now you can clearly see that they are up and down somewhere so i'm going to simply change their positions with the hand here I think this fine for the one here I'm going to put it somewhere here now this one also fine and I'm going to also draw a wire cube on the spawner because we want our spawner to be as well uh, to be seen on this scene here so in the spawner I'm going to create a, a spawner action script and in the spawner action script I'm going to do the same thing and I think it should be loaded yeah it is here it is double click on it open it and in here when this thing is open you can write you can do the same thing void on draw gizmos and in the gizmos what we need to do is that we need to create the same thing so i'm going so i'm without uh, so for doing the same thing i'm going to do and copy and paste all of these thing here so i because i don't want to write all of the stuff down And let's head back into the unity and see what are the results wait some time for that now you can see that we got a nice big gizmos here but the thing is that uh, I think that's fine and we can change the color of the inner gizmos to something yellow so in the position script I am going to say that the color should of the gizmos dot color gizmos dot color and this changes the color color 
dot yellow. So the inner field should be of yellow color here because we have defined it that gizmos dot color should be equal to color dot yellow. And you can see that the inner R equal to yellow here. So the spawner, I think I should move. We cannot move that. For the positions here, I am going to first of all change the position, set it outside. And for the spawner, I am going to do these kind of things. And I am going to make them the child again. And I think this last one is out of now you can see that we got our nice uh, gizmos going on here and we got some cool stuff here now we can see where the tiles are going to be uh, instantiated 